property investor or lone wolf. These are the people that you really, really need to have around you. You need to surround yourself with your perfect dream team. Don't find out the hard way like I did. And you're gonna to wanna to watch the entire video to find out who are the most important people to have around you. So the first member of your property dream team will be a really, really good mortgage broker. Now they are more valuable than gold, in my opinion. Um, a good mortgage broker will arrange um, a mortgage between yourself and any potential lenders that they might have on their books that they deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And that is the key. Because you might say, well, why do I want someone to do that? Why do I want to pay someone to do that? They do this on a day-to-day -day basis. So they are in constant talks with all the lenders that they have on their books. They will sit down and look through lenders and they might match you up with a lender, not based on maybe you, you might be blinkered and you might be thinking, right, I want a lender that's going to give me the best rates. But they might have a mortgage broker on their books that has there's other things and other benefits to having the products that they have and you might not be aware of that or you might not be thinking of those benefits and in the long run then it might just save you money or it might save you time or it might just be a better fit for you so those mortgage brokers as i said they work with these lenders on a day-to-day -day basis they know the products that they've got on their books they know the products inside out they can get the best rates for you if that's what you're interested in they can get you the best terms for you and you really 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 need to do your research on it just find yourself a really good broker that's actually going to do the work and just look for these different things for you and then they can marry you up with, with really good products that can save you money in the long run or as i said before it might be better terms for you maybe you've got adverse credit they might be working with lenders all the time that deal with people that have got adverse credit or um, in my case, I'm buying in a, in a company name. So the, the lenders that I went with, they work with, but sorry, the mortgage broker that I went with work with lenders that deal with lending company mortgages on a day-to-day -day basis, or they might specialise in a bridge to let mortgage, which is what I went for. So they really, really are worth their weight in gold and they are worth the fees when you find yourself a really, really good one. And that is the key. You need to find yourself a good broker that's gonna do the work for you and one that's not just gonna charge you fees just for doing something that's already a given but you need one that's gonna work look at the market test the market looking at all the products that are there available and that can get you a good fit and that also as well they also know um, lenders that you might be pre-approved for but as I said if you've got adverse credit they will say right well it's not worth going for that because if we do go for that they may not take you on or it might go on against you on your credit rating or they'll say right we're going to go for this one because of this reason so it's really it's valuable that you find yourself a really really good mortgage broker and they, they just make your life easier and they help and they, they they it's not just they don't just test the market and marry you up with good lenders a good mortgage broker could charge you anything from 200 pounds upwards per sort of deal but as i said do your research, have a look for what's out there and find yourself a really, really good one. Um, and I'll put the details to my mortgage broker if you're in the Nottingham area, I'll pop that down in the description box and you could um, contact them if you need them for anything. Bonus tip as well, if you've got adverse credit, it might be worth looking into a good financial advisor as well. And I'd say the next member of your property dream team would be a really good solicitor. It's crucial that you get a really good solicitor for the type of property that you're going to be buying so for example if you're going to be purchasing a commercial property it'd be really good if you get a really good solicitor that specializes in dealing with commercial property purchases um, and yeah a good solicitor is again like a good mortgage broker is worth their weight in gold um, and they will take you through the process and help you through but yeah they are crucial and for example if you're going for a specific type of funding whether it like myself um i went went through a bridging or if you're going through a buy to let or any type of specific type of mortgage or funding um, it's really really good to get a solicitor that deals with a specific type of funding yeah it's good to get a solicitor that deals with that specific type of funding because it will just make your life a lot lot easier and they'll take you through the process in a, a lot smoother also if you are using a mortgage or anything like that type of funding it's always worth as well looking on your lender's mortgage panel to see what list of solicitors that they have as well because you could save yourself a little bit of money through that way as well so that's a good bonus tip for you but again your mortgage advisor 
solicitor or your mortgage broker would be able to go through that with you. They might have a list of solicitors that they use on a typical day-to-day -day basis that they can also recommend to you. And the next member of your property super dream team would be a really, really good architect or architectural designer. Now, if you are adding value to your property, an architectural designer will just help you go through with the concepts, the what you can do, what you, what you can and can't do with the space, how to maximise the space. For example, if you're going for a HMO, they could tell you what rooms you could add, if you could split rooms, you could add rooms up here and there. Or even if you're gonna, if you're on a bigger development where, I don't know, maybe you've purchased an, an old pub building or something like that where you want to split that up into flats a good architectural designer or an architect can go through that with you and take you through the whole design process and help you really really maximize that space they'll also um, take you through the whole planning process if you need planning they'll liaise with builder control and they can even act as a project manager and specify materials and building techniques and things like that to your builder as well if you do take them on as a project manager if you have that as part of their services again <laughs> i'd say they are worth their weight in gold because they can also save you a lot of money um, through specifying certain materials and they can also challenge what you want as well because you might think that you could get a certain amount of um, rooms within a, a property that you've brought they might say well that might not be possible because this is here or that's there or this is in the way or they can also sort of challenge you and bring new ideas to you so they are worth their weight in gold as well um, as I said, we are a architectural design service as well. So if you are in the Nottingham area and you do need us to have a look at a project that you might have, details are in the description box. And also, if you'd like a more in-depth video on the building control and planning process, I can do that for you. If you just pop planning or building control in the comments and I'll look through it and I'll make a video on that if that's something that you're into. So that leads me into my next member of your super property dream team. That would be to get yourself a good builder so a good builder is going to have built up loads of relationships and ties with local suppliers for materials so they're going to be able to get you again save you money that way if you're remote um, investing you can also trust that they will get on with the job without you having to be there and um, to constantly breathing down the neck and just get on there and just get on and do the works for you if you're remote investing and again they'll have good relationships with local structural engineers local consultants and things like that so yeah a good builder who is flexible and can move with you and your projects and your timelines is crucial when you are starting out in property so yeah a good builder is crucial to have within your property super dream team another member of your super property dream team would be a good structural engineer again if you are adding value to a property by either extending it or even if you're doing a loft conversion or something like that you really 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 need to have a good structural engineer come give you good advice and take their advice on board that will come and work with you and the builder and even if um, for example you might dig down into the grounds or the footings and you might find something in the ground or the ground might not be as expected a good structural engineer can come back and mend drawings and basically just move and be fluid with the project so it is crucial that you find yourself a really really good structural engineer they are worth their weight in gold and you will need the structural calculations and reports for things like the builder control submission so yeah that's another member of your property your super property dream team and another member of your super property dream team would be to get yourself a really, really good estate agent. Now, this is key, especially if you are remote investing. I'm not really remote investing, so it's not so much on my radar, but if you are remote investing, they will do things like they'll vet and credit check any potential tenants that you might get have. They'll take your deposits, they'll do your rental agreements, they'll do spot checks, they'll monitor the tenants, they'll investigate any maintenance issues and things like that if they are really really good estate agents and they're on what they're doing if you are remote investing that would be something that you would want to look into would be to have a really really good or have good connections with really good local estate agents here are a few sort of bonus team members for when you actually get onto your projects you might want a really good joiner a good electrician a good plumber roofer heating engineer 
and maybe an EPC assessor as well. They're people that you might want to sort of think about to add in there if you're not going to go through a main contractor. So I'm a big advocate on doing your own research. So please make sure that you look this up, have a look to investigate and do your own research into this as well, just to back up this as well. And thank you all for your support. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment down below and watch this video next where I go through the things that I really wish I would have done differently on the last refurb project that I've done. Thanks, bye guys.